Hi, this is Matt from Algae Research Supply. Another episode of a lab experiment on the dirty lab coat. <laughs> all right, so today, um, we've all done the experiment in either high school or uh, in my case, I actually had to teach this one in a community college class where you take seeds and you plant them and you try to get the light or the plant to grow under different light regimes. The one with more light grows the most. That one was really hard to do, measuring leaf areas and all that crazy stuff. So we have a really simple way to do this, so that, and it works 100% of the time. It is almost completely bulletproof. So that's probably 99.9%. .9%. So what you're gonna wanna do here is use your algae culture media, um, and you'll have to check out another video to see that. Add your algae culture media to different um, uh, uh, the centrifuge tubes, fill them up with the media, and then you wanna add just enough brand new culture to the to each one of your flasks and make sure you add the very same amount to each one the first time you do it use your seshi stick so that you can see down in here until it just disappears i'm going to make sure yep that one's just on scale you want it to be on scale so that you can actually have the the seshi stick reading from day one so as soon as it's reading you want to use that same amount of algae into each one of the successive uh tissue culture flasks and then once you get to this point, have uh, have your students, you can cap these, back them off just a tiny bit so there's some gas exchange. Have your students decide where they wanna put them in relation to a, photo, or a, a light source. We'll just use that one as an example over here. Now we've got four different distances from a, from a light source, okay? Ah, gravity. And then you can either take a uh, a light meter, like this is a PAR sensor. This is only measuring light within, in between 400 and 700 nanometers. That's the photosynthetic range that we can, uh, that plants uh, and algae can use light. So you can either use this or there's great apps on your iPhone or any of your smart devices that are light meters and they work great. So what you wanna do with each one of these is you wanna get a good estimate of how much light is, is actually hitting each one of these containers. And then you can, if you lay a piece of paper down first, you can have each one of your students write their name as to where it goes. And then you'll want to record. So remember, everything has to do, you've got to record math. So you want to have your student come down here. And for instance, this one, the Sushi's disc depth is around 65 millimeters. So at time zero, it's 65 millimeters. Tomorrow, it'll be a little bit less, maybe 60 millimeters. And then the next day, 50, 40, 20, 10. And in doing that, you're gonna be able to have your students create really awesome plots, just like this, where they'll have low, low and high light levels, and you'll be able to actually watch the biomass grow. This is so slick and so clean and so absolutely repeatable um, that I hope that you guys have a lot of fun with it. And more importantly, learn about photosynthesis and microalgae, because hi, this is a water planet, uh, and we have to get your minions to understand this stuff. All right, that's it. I'm gonna pull the plug.